Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to be going over tools that can help me inspect my sketch. I'm currently trying to design a plate, and on top of it a tab that a handlebar will go through. Unfortunately, my sketch is currently overdefined. Since I have an overdefined sketch, I need to find a solution to this. One of those tools that can help me do that is to access Sketch Expert. Now, what Sketch Expert would do is it's going to diagnose what the situation is for me. So to access it, I right click here inside the graphics area. Now, inside the right click menu, I can click here where it says Sketch Expert, and Sketch Expert will only appear if you have an overdefined sketch inside the sketch environment. So once I click on it, here in the property manager, it's going to ask me to diagnose so I can find out what the error is, and it'll show me visually as well as in here where it says more information where the error is at and what the solution to it is. In this example, I only have one error and it appears that it wants me to remove the relationships that are in here. See that? I could have done this manually, but it's a lot faster that SolidWorks diagnose it. And if it would have had other solutions, it would have also listed them here. So to accept what's going on, I actually have to click accept then click OK so that it can fully remove those sketch relations that are horizontal. And now I can add the correct ones. So to do that, I can click on the drop down arrow here below display delete relations, click add relation, and I'm going to hover over the line to activate the midpoint of that line, select the point, select the origin, and they will now have a vertical sketch relation. Now the sketch is fully defined. But I also notice that before I go, I want to make sure that I actually meet the requirements for this feature. To do that, I can click here on Tools, go down to Sketch Tools, and from here, select Check Sketch for Feature. What Check Sketch for Feature does is that it'll allow me, no matter what sketch I have, it'll always allow me to check if I actually meet the requirements for that sketch feature. And here are some examples of what I can check it up to. So if I click on this drop down arrow here, I can check it up to Base Extrudes, Boss Revolves, Cut Extrude, just to name a few. I'll leave it at Base Extrude for now, and now I'll let SolidWorks check if I meet the requirements. It's always important to read what SolidWorks tells us, and it's currently telling me that the sketch cannot be used for a feature because an endpoint is wrongly shared by multiple entities. Then it tells me to try to fix the sketch right now, click OK. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Once I do that, it's automatically going to send me to Repair Sketch. In Repair Sketch, it's going to show me any errors that might be in my sketch. Currently, I only have one, and through this magnifying glass, it'll specify where that area is at. It's going to be for this line. Now, I'm going to exit out of the Repair Sketch window. To access or to check any type of error, you don't have to go through Check Sketch for Feature. All its purpose is to serve is to make sure that you meet the requirements so that feature can function. If I want to go straight to Repair Sketch, I just have to make sure that I'm inside a sketch environment. Make sure I'm here inside the Sketch tab. Right next to Display Delete Relations, I have here where it says Repair Sketch. Now I click on it, and right away it shows me if there's any errors. That error is still there. So I'm just going to click on the line, hit Delete. Then I'm going to refresh the Repair Sketch to check if I have any other errors. So I'll click on Refresh. And now there are no longer any errors there, so I'm going to exit out of the Repair Sketch. And again, it's fully defined. I can click on Repair Sketch one more time just to make sure. Oh, nothing's there. Once I exit out of the sketch, everything should be normal now. And here is my tabs on that plate where a handlebar will go through. Now again, here we were able to see how using a sketch expert can help us diagnose if we have an overdefined sketch. If we want to make sure that our sketches meet the requirements, I can always access Check Sketch for Feature. And as well, go to the Repair Sketch to make sure I don't have any of the errors on there. If you have any other tips and tricks on how you inspect your sketch, you can always go back and leave us some comments and please give us a like.